Hey guys, welcome to Vet Candy. I am your host, Dr. Julio Alonso. Let's talk vet mad. This show is brought to you by Merck Animal Health. Otitis externa is one of the most common reasons for veterinary visits, but little have been known about the microbiota of a healthy ear. A study was performed to compare microbiota in normal dogs compared to those with otitis externa. Samples of DNA were taken from 18 dogs with confirmed otitis and 8 dogs with healthy ears. The samples were isolated and sequenced. The study showed that otitis externa is accompanied by broad and complex differences in the microbiota. Studies showed bacteria from 27 different phyla were identified. Ears belonging to dogs with otitis has significantly decreased alpha diversity when compared to healthy ears. Staphylococcus, Pseudomonas, and Parvimonas were overrepresented in dogs with otitis. Hopefully, this will shine some light on one of the most common veterinary problems that we encounter. Coming up, some expert tips. Hi, I'm Melissa Evans. I'm a licensed veterinary technician and a veterinary technician specialist in emergency and critical care. And here are three tips for showing pet owners how to deal with their pet's ears. First, use a model to demonstrate the anatomy of the ear. Next, make sure that they use a cotton ball, not a cotton swab, to clean the ears or to remove debris. Last, explain the instructions with the pet owner and make sure that they understand completely. Make sure they know to look for redness, pain, or bad odor, and to contact their clinic if the signs arise. For more helpful tips, follow me on Instagram. Let's talk about food allergies. Currently, the use of elimination diets followed by oral food challenges represent the gold standard for diagnosing skin manifesting food allergies in dogs and cats. Regrettably, there is no clear consensus on how long one should wait for clinical signs to flare after an oral food challenge before diagnosing or ruling out a food allergy in a dog or a cat. Study results of nine papers that included 234 dogs and four articles containing data from 83 cats. When regrouping all cases together, about 9% of dogs and 27% of cats exhibited a flare of clinical signs in the first day after an oral food challenge, of which 21% of dogs and 29% of cats had a relapse by the end of the second day. By 14 days after an oral food challenge, nearly all food allergic patients from both species had shown a relapse of clinical signs. This study suggests that veterinary clinicians performing an oral food challenge need to wait for 14 days in dogs and seven days in cats for more than 90% of dogs and cats with a skin manifesting food allergy to have a flare of clinical signs. Let me tell you about the power couple that is on a mission to change the face of veterinary medicine. Dr. Valerie Marcano and Dr. Seth Andrews are more than just a couple in love. Together, they are working to make veterinary medicine more diverse, something that the veterinary profession desperately needs help with. In 2013, the profession of veterinary medicine was named the whitest profession by The Atlantic Magazine. This report mirrored another report in the Journal of Blacks in Higher Education, which gave veterinary medicine the designation as most segregated out of all the health professions. Together, they created Possibilities VetMed, a web and mobile platform designed to aid in the recruitment and retention of diverse students in the veterinary profession through resources, discussion forums, and the showcasing of diverse veterinarians. Possibilities aims to connect individuals from underrepresented backgrounds interested in the veterinary profession to both opportunities available and to potential mentors and advisors within the field through a mentorship platform. Together, they hope to give people of color an easier path into veterinary medicine, while also enriching the lives of those who have already made it, and bring awareness to these issues that we have in our profession. Thank you for watching Vet Candy. Stay up to date with everything VetMed by subscribing to our channel. You can also follow us on social media at MyVetCandy. Thank you.